engineers sat the planes on their tails, treating them more like rockets. Of course, the pilot's looking up and has no idea where the ground is or what's going on behind him. So uh, takeoffs are one thing, but landings are certainly another thing. Control was the main problem facing the designers. How to translate from vertical takeoff to horizontal flight and then back again to the vertical mode for landing. This is a 3D concept drawing of a vertical takeoff and landing aircraft not unlike the one just viewed. The difference is this design would utilize a high power to weight ratio rotary turbo compound engine and advanced carbon fiber construction to make a practical magic carpet transport vehicle. This view is showing the delta wing design of the aircraft. Since you do not have to land or take off horizontally, you need only a 10 foot wingspan. A small wing area means low drag and a short spar, which weighs much less compared to a conventional large span wing design, where the spar is subject to higher bending stress and therefore is much heavier. Delta wing designs also offer more volume in the wing for fuel storage. Seen here in a forward flying mode, you can see a top rudder and bottom rudder. This fin configuration makes it convenient to land and park the aircraft in the vertical position. This side view shows the counter-rotating propellers. This configuration reduces the twisting torque on the aircraft. This cutaway view shows the pilot passenger seating position, a compact motorcycle style configuration that makes room for a three rotor engine located just behind the passenger. The drive shaft runs forward between the passenger and pilot's legs into the gearbox and propeller assembly. This view shows the aircraft on the ground, brought to the vertical by an airbag style erecting device just before takeoff. This close up view of the counter rotating propeller system uses a Ford C6 automatic transmission planetary drive. In the event of engine failure on takeoff, 
the aircraft occupants would have to eject at low altitude, too low for a parachute to inflate in time. This is a 3D concept drawing of a personal protection escape system that's based on airbag technology developed for the automotive industry. These 24 foot diameter bags would be attached deflated to the aircraft occupant's shoulders and would inflate within milliseconds of aircraft ejection, slowly deflating on impact. Airbag technology would also be utilized to power the ejection seat system.